Okay. On today's call, we're going to simply run this intro video. Now we ran one before, but we're going to, we're going to run another one. We're going to run another one and then, and then leverage this data as well. We're going to run this video and then we're going to also set up a custom audience around the video. And then okay. and when we chat again in, in a couple weeks after this, after this one run, takes its course, then we'll take that custom audience and create a lookalike audience and then start targeting that audience for leads. Okay, so we're still in the in, we're still in the awareness phase, which is normally your first to second ad, where where we're now just running it just just for the data. So let's cl click on the green one. We'll click create, and then another all thing, man. If if I could switch my card, I just got a, a new yeah. uh, business credit card. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Perfect. So let's get this bad boy out. So now we'll just yeah we'll click the the green the green button and we'll go straight through and so here are these tabs right so the tabs in the background campaigns ad sets and ads that's all we're doing is going through these three steps so this campaign tab is where we choose the objective so this this first one the intro is is going to be awareness we're just trying to get as many people in that local area to see it um, and then we'll hit continue that's it so awareness. Is, is part of step one, which is the campaign tab, and then choosing housing, that's step one. So categories, hit the drop down and choose housing. That's it, that's step one, and then we hit next. So now we're on to the second tab, which is ad set. Um, and here's where we choose the budget, the target, the targeting, um, and then the placement. So um, make sure it's always coming from the, from the right business page, which it is, and then daily budget. This one, you can go, you can go 10 bucks, you can go, eight bucks a day say, uh what did we just run was it i think it was 10 bucks a day so whatever whatever your budget is bro like monthly like just divide it by two because that's really all we're going to be doing is running two ads a month it's 15 to, yeah all right yeah no we did five bucks last i remember i said we'll double it this time yeah so yeah, yeah yeah so so if possible like continue to crush it and close your deals bro and just set aside whether we'll set aside that budget so set aside 300 a month for your facebook ads Right. Keep it that simple. And from there, bro, you can really scale up and really, really make a dent in that local area. Um, so we'll go we'll go always next day. So it's August. August we'll go August 26 at, at 6 a.m. Um, are you central or, or eastern? Eastern. You're eastern. OK, cool. Yeah. 6 a.m. local time. Um, and then and then you'll just push it out 15 days. So the end the end date. Yeah, you'll go end date and then you will go from the 25th to. Um, or would that be the ninth? Is that the ninth? Yeah. Yeah. And then and then six a.m. And then yeah, August August twenty six actually yeah perfect. Okay, cool. So right there, ten dollars. There's the date. And then down here, when it comes to the targeting, we want to stick to one location, right? So right here, United States. You can just um, X out of the United States or edit. Edit United States down low below, and then just type in type in your your local area, and you can go off of off of off of just the general city, the name mm -hmm. of the city, or you can go or or you can go off of an actual address. Like a lot of times, it's it's cool to type in a physical address as well. Yeah, uh, but just X out. Yeah, hit the X to the to the right of the United States. Just X it out, and then just type in type in the new one. What's that address to my office right here? Yeah, dude, if you could just freaking crush it 15 miles around that address, that'd be that'd be pretty, pretty, pretty major. Find my address. And you're always going with the drop down too. So as you type it in, always look for the drop down. Gotcha. And, and it'll actually be when you're yeah, when you're going for address, it's not place. What you're really shooting for is 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 address. So always look for address to the right. Whatever we're putting in here, right? So what, what did we do here so far? We put in the budget. We put in the calendar also, but but really the targeting, the budget and the targeting. Give that give that a, a little detailed description at the top. So if, if you scroll to the very very top, just um just new awareness ad set. Yep, delete that and rename it. So we'll go ten dollars a day. Yeah, we'll just and just a little brief description. So when we're when we're on the dashboard, we can just view it and know exactly what ad that is. So ten dollars a day, um, location. Yep, put it put the actual um, street name or whatever it was, and then and then you're good. Perfect. Perfect. So now we'll scroll down and that's, that's it. That's all we need there. And so that's our stopping ground, bro. From this point on Morris road, that's the only targeting we're going to need to put in. Um, that's it. Like I want to just dominate that 15 mile radius. 
So now scroll down. We can't change age, cannot change gender, um, nor do we need to. And then we don't need any. We could we could narrow it in and and put put um, detailed targeting, put some keywords. But but we don't even when you're targeting a small area, 15 miles, you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to narrow it in any further. Like we've already narrowed it in enough, right? We're only targeting 15 miles. So it's like so so when you like if you go up a little bit. The detail targeting where people put in Zillow right here, the detail targeting, put, people will put in realtor.com, people will, put, will type in FHA lending, like they'll type in all these different keywords. But but when you're targeting local, you're just you're just you're just narrowing the audience so, so small where you're not giving Facebook enough, enough, enough room to to find that audience because the, the, it's just too, too narrow of a targeting. Detail targeting, putting in keywords is good when you're targeting nationwide. When you're targeting nationwide, then you can focus in on, on detail targeting keywords. But in your case, you probably, yeah, we won't do any keywords. So so placements, this is where we're going to actually, now the brand awareness one, this one, we'll leave it We'll leave it at adva advantage plus placement. As we go into ad, ad number two, which we'll, we'll call the next ad, ad number two, that's when we're now going for hardcore lead. We're now targeting the seller or we're now targeting the buyer. We're now offering a buyer guide or a seller guide. That's the next ad. Which will kind all kind of prep you for that one, but that's when we'll go in and 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 hit manual placement and only target the newsfeed. When it comes to actual clicks, go to my webpage, download my free seller guide, or click go to my page, get all the details on this listing. That's when we're going for lead, and that's manual placement. But but we'll get there when we get there. For now, it's just advantage. So um so we'll scroll down, and what we want to change here real quick is is click on um I think it's the bottom one, the optimiz yeah show more options. Click on that one. And then the frequency cap. Edit this one. We want three. So the one, change that to three. Yeah, we want as much awareness as possible. Um, three impressions every seven days. So so that gives people the ability to to see that ad up to three times in a seven day period, which is which is good. Mm -hmm. We're we're building the brand awareness, right? So three is good. And then hit next. So that's step two, man. That's it. The targeting, the budget, the calendar. Um, the frequency cap, that's only for awareness on this one type of objective ad. And then we come to the third step and that's it. So here we'll simply um, just make sure the Facebook page is matching, the Instagram account is matching, and then um, and then, and then the create ad. So the ad setup, we'll hit that drop down, create ad, and go to existing post, use existing post. And then what you can do is you can also, and then select post, hit the select post button, and then just find find that post. What you can do is you can um, you can always link it to your website if you wanted to, which which it, it could be. It, I mean, it's good just to just to put something there, like the call to action button. So you'll scroll down and you'll see um, you'll see the where's it where's that? Scroll down a little bit. The um, the yeah, you have a send message. So the call to action, you have send message, which is fine. Send message is good for this brand awareness. We're not trying to drive clicks to a website right now anyways so we're good there so we'll scroll down and then um we don't need any we don't really need any of the of the tracking um and it, we're not even looking for people to send a message anyways because it's not a send message ad so we're just putting it there just just to just to fill the space um mm -hmm. and then scroll down the tracking so let's go down to tracking um yeah we don't need a, we don't need website events we don't need any of that click publish and and we're good so that's your three that's your three step setup of an ad bro um and now as we go to the next ad and we start going for leads, it's the same thing. All we're doing is putting now a link for people to click on. So the send message button would be a learn more button and it'd be tied to an actual link. It'd be okay. tied to a landing page, um, not your website. It'd be tied to some type of landing page. So that's when we'll have to look into some type of, of software for landing pages. Um, so here, when, when we come to the third and final step, this happens often where you click the green publish button and then it gets stuck like that. That happens. That happens often. I see that a lot. Publishing one of three, and it's just it's just stuck. Um, when that happens, just open up another tab, go back to your bookmarks, go back to Ads Manager, and then just push it through. Not from here. Not from here. Open up another another tab, and then just um, and then yeah, go to your bookmarks, go to go to the Ads Manager, and then we'll just push it through from over there. So you'll see you'll see the three steps that we just went through. You'll see it in the top right hand corner. So you'll see a blue button here in the top right. That's the three. That's the three steps. Campaigns, ads, and ads. That's what's stuck. So go ahead and click on that and then just push it through here. So you'll um you'll see the green button and just publish it from here.
and then you'll see the bottom blue, bottom right, you'll see that turn to green. And that's when it, it fully publishes. So we're good there. So now we can close out the other tab, the other ads manager tab, close out that one. And we'll, no, we'll work out of this one. We'll work out of this one, but close out that other one. Yeah, perfect. Close out that one, just leave. Yeah, you can click on leave. Okay, so that that well, that's really step two. So step one is posting it on the business page first, right? I want it to live there forever. I want it to be public there forever. I want people to see thousands of views on that video forever. That's one way people do it. One one way people run run an ad, they'll post it on the business page first. That's how I do it. That's how that's what I teach. That's how I've been taught. Post it there first. Some people simply run that video in the background and and that's it. And then when the ad's off, it's off and it's nowhere to be seen. Right. And that's what we did before. I think I think we ran the first one like that. Yeah. Um, where where there was nothing on the page. But from this point on, you want it on the page. You want it to be visible and public forever especially because we're going to get so much social proof on it. We're going to have thousands of views on it. So we want that to be, to, to be shown forever. So that, so step one is posting on the business page first. Step two is coming over here and, and setting up the actual ad, getting it processed, getting it published and ready to go out for tomorrow. And then the third and final step is to always create your custom audience, especially if it's a video, which you're going to be doing video. So always, always third step, come over here. Once you do this step two, then we go and create the custom audience. So that's um, again, it's a bookmark. Or you could just click the three lines to the left and go to audiences. Okay. So right there, three lines um, in the in the top left, and then just go to go to audiences. And how do you have any specific time frame as to how long you want it on the page, like the business page, before um, we start on the ad? Oh, good question. No, bro, you could put it. You could have put it there freaking two minutes ago, and we run it right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you you could have, but I know, you, yeah, your your message, I think like a week ago is you wanted to put it out there first, which is cool, totally cool. So yeah, you could totally, there's no time frame on that at all. You could you could have did it the last second or you could have did it a week ago. And then, and then so so any of these videos that you have up there a month ago, we can easily come over here and run an ad on those too. Okay. I, I wouldn't recommend it because there's not real any call to action on those ones other than maybe call you or whatever. But, but now as we go into, and even with this one, even if you may have put a call to action, call me or message me or whatever, that that's some type of, of, of call to action. But our next video and on the call to action is to click the link to go and get your details or to click the link and go and download my seller guide, right? Or buyer guide, whatever one, whichever one you're, you're choosing. That's, yeah. that's a real call to action is to click the link and to, and to get, and to get someone to, to go somewhere else and fill out fill, and fill out the form, right? Enter your information. That would either be on a listing, that'd be on an open house, or that'd be on a buyer guide or a seller guide where I'm now getting them to click. There was a call to action in that video to get them to click, right? So none of those other ones, I think, I don't, I'm don't. i I'm just assuming that none of the other videos were like that or have that type of call to action. So I wouldn't run an ad on any of those. But from this point on, um, yeah, man, it could, you could, you could do, it. there's no time frame. Okay, perfect. So, so here now let's just create that audience. So, so click the blue one, create audience, and then we're going to come down to custom audience. And then we're going to go video. So right here, video, and then next. And then over here, we're going to engagement. We're going to choose. Yeah, choose. So here, here's the different timestamps, right? So ideally, ideally, you want to you want to start shooting for videos at least a minute, at least a minute long. So then you can come in here and create an audience around those who watched at least 25% of it. Mm -hmm. Right. And that'd be a good audience to really to really turn around and, and give to Facebook and say, hey, Facebook, here's thousands of people who watched 25 percent of this video. Now I'm going to turn it into a lookalike audience so you can go find me a few hundred thousand more that look just like these people who watched it for at least 25 percent. You know, so so in this case, 44 seconds, half of that, half of that is 22 seconds. So maybe maybe go off of go off of 50 percent go off of 50 percent so i want to track those who watched at least half of it right at least half of it those are people that are going to see me again so choose videos the blue um in the, in the right top right and then just find that video um perfect and then confirm okay cool and then the retention you want to bring that way way down what we'll do here is we'll I mean, 30 days is, is good. You can go, you can go 45 days if, if you want, but, but typically like you want it to be, you want it to be 30 days, 30 days, because 
you don't want everyone to be in this audience. Um, 30 days is, 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 is already a long time. Like if I saw your video one time 27 days ago, and now you're showing me another ad because I fit the 30 day criteria, what are the odds of me really remembering you? Right. You know, so, so it, it, everyone's a little, me personally, I'm, I'm good with faces. Like if I see a face freaking a year ago, I'd remember them, but not everyone's like that. You know what I mean? Like I'm not the best with remembering names, but, but I'm, I'm good with faces. Right. So everyone's a little different. So I think 30 days is, is, is kind of the max. I mean, a lot of times I'll see stuff yesterday and I don't, I don't even remember it. You know what I mean? So, so 30 days is kind of the, the max um, that you'll want to start building around every, every custom audience on a video. Mm -hmm. um, and then the audience name, audience name, go ahead and just give it a name, intro video two, whatever you want to call it. Um, Cause you have that other intro video. So maybe this could be intro video two and then in parentheses, 50%. So I always want to put the, the timestamp that I actually put in. So 50% and then create audience and that's it, man. And so we'll get, we'll get definitely a few thousand people to, to see this one and then click done. And then all we do is we'll take that audience and piggyback off of it and create the lookalike audience. And then that's when we just put it on steroids and let Facebook do their thing to go find me a ton of people who resemble them. And that's when I start going for leads. Gotcha. Gotcha. So this lookalike, the US one, delete that one because that's actually, it's it's not, it's not that, yeah, it's not going to be that lookalike. And it's actually going to, yeah, delete that one. When we go and create it, hit the blue button to the left. It's actually the third one down. So it's not, and I think I might've did that. I think I might've had you do lookalike, but it's actually, it's actually, um, yeah, you should have seen, you should have seen a different audience down there. Actually, we'll check the box, check, check the, um, check, check the box of any of these to the right and then click on the, click on those three dots to the right. Normally you would see, you would see special ad category. Um, I wonder why you don't see special ad category. It should have been should have been special ad category because you're in housing, um, but we'll we'll let that build up first. We'll let it build up the 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 intro video two, and then we'll we'll click the blue button again. Let it build up, yeah. Let it run for two weeks, and then we'll we'll chat we'll chat then. Um, oh. Yeah. So any any questions on that? Uh, no. Awesome, bro.